B, 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 B. Seriously, that's I think how Snorlax makes its cry, right? But hi, hi to all of you guys, yeah! So, here, Snorlax, let's listen to the sound again. B, B. Yeah, I tried, guys. So, anyway, as said on the title of the video, today I am going to play Go Battle in all three leagues. So, how am I gonna do that is, I am gonna play two battles in each of the leagues, alright? But I'm gonna use the exact same Pokemon in each of the leagues, of course, with uh, different uh, CPs. So, for those of you who do not know, Go Battle right now, we can actually play in either Great League, Ultra League, or Master League, whether depending on what you want to choose. So, I would like to know from you guys, which league do you guys like to play in the most? Whether is it the Great, the Ultra, or the Master League? For me, I personally prefer playing in the Master League because, uh, well, I have a lot of uh, experience in it for the last like couple of days, especially uh, I'm doing pretty well in it. Um, Great League-wise would probably my, be my second choice, and then Ultra League, maybe uh, it's my last, but not saying that I hate Ultra League or anything. So, um, I would suppose most people would actually say Great League, followed by Master League then Ultra League. Reason being is because um, I guess most people would have the Pokemon powered up ready for Great League because of um, whatever that happened in the past thanks to Sylph tournaments that was uh, going on in the past that people had really powered up Great League Pokemon and also it does not cost as much Stardust to power up Pokemon for the Great League as compared to the Ultra League. Um, maybe people would prefer Master League also because uh, some people would have already powered up like 100% IV Pokemon to play in it. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below. So, we're gonna choose Master League. That does not mean that we're gonna play Master... Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. We have to go back and create our party. I totally forgot about creating a party. So, anyway, these are the Pokemon that I can use. These are the only Pokemon that I have that I've searched in my entire collection that I have for Great League, Ultra League, and also Master League. Okay, I mean, there are a lot of other Pokemon that I could possibly choose, you know, for now. I have Snorlax, Dragonite, Caesar, Raikou, Tyranita, Lugia, Swampert, Togekiss, and last but not least, Memoswine. So, I, I mean, I could have actually invested in something like a Melmetal. I could actually invest in like Zapdos and whatever other Pokemon that could be viable in all three leagues. Um, I mean, there are certain Pokemon that really, really cannot be viable in, say, um, either one of the leagues or even two of the leagues. Example would be like Meditite, Medicham, sorry, Meditite, Medicham, Medicham, you know, CP maxes out at 143, one. so obviously you wouldn't use it in the Ultra League or Master League. Similarly, if you were to use something like Giratina to um, take as an example, you can use it in the Master League, you can use it possibly in the Ultra League also, but you cannot use it in the Grey League because the CP cannot go below 1500 for you to use come to think of it, I actually can use Cresselia, but the problem is Cresselia, I don't have one that is maxed out yet for Master League, and even if you max it out for Master League, <laughs> it's not going to be that good because the CP is going to be very low. So anyway, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to start playing in the Great League first. So let's start uh, building the team for the Great League. Um, we're going to go into Great League over here. We're going to press three dots. Zoe three dots. I mean, Zoe two dots. So <laughs> anyway, um, where's my... What the? Why is it like that? So weird. Oh, yeah, because these are the only selection that I have. So you guys have already seen all those nine Pokemon. These are the nine that I can choose. So, <sighs> since we started it off with Snorlax to do the intro, we're going to use Snorlax first as the first Pokemon, and then followed by Lugia, and then followed by Swampert. I actually already created a team in my head already before I made the video, but this is why I'm going to. This is why I hate this glitch. Okay, after you chose your Pokemon already, it doesn't even appear for you to, to use. So I'm going to play... Oops, sorry. I actually, I can put my Lucky Egg now. So I'm going to play two battles in each of the league. How am I going to do it is I'm going to start with the Great League first, follow up by the Ultra League, follow up by the Master League, and then run it through another round. Okay, so Snorlax, 
Lugia and also Swampert. Last thing I'd like to mention to you guys, all these Pokemon, even though they are the same species, like say, um, Lugia, 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 right? Um, my Lugia, all three of them have the same moves, but if you look at other Pokemon, I think my Snorlax have different moves. If I'm not mistaken, my Snorlax, I think I have Earthquake, I can't remember. Yep, for Great League. So anyway, here we go. Yeah, we will see how. The moveset doesn't really matter for now because I've already prepared everything that I need. So he's starting off with Hypno. Hypno is a very, very tanky Pokemon. He switches out because I can switch into Lugia. Okay, that's good, I guess. That's very good. So um, that's good for us since uh, whatever move that he throws at us right now will either be resisted or be double resisted. Okay. Earthquake will be double resisted, that is just resisted, alright, and um, Sky Attack will do super effective to the grass typing of Manganium. Unfortunately, um, Frenzy Plant is coming in really really quickly, you guys can see that Lugia despite it being one of the tankiest Pokemon in the entire game, problem is when um, you actually use it in the Great League, it becomes pretty frail if you ask me. So anyway, for those of you who did not notice also, the sky attack, when you use the flying, uh, when you do the animation for the, not animation, but you, when you do the bubbles for the, I'm thinking whether should I use future sign. Um, when you do the bubbles for the sky attack, right, for the flying type moves, right, it's actually way easier to get in excellent as compared to last time, because the speed of the bubbles have slowed down, and also the fact that, okay, the fact that, uh, it has also become closer to one another. So um, the Azumario though, um, I will let him take me out. He's trying to farm me down. And right now, luckily I do not have the Dragon Deal as the fast move, which is a good thing. Now the problem is, hmm, what's his other Pokemon? Oh yeah, it's Hypno. Okay, Hypno, I was to use the Snorlax. All right, so Swampert comes out now. I will then just use Earthquake. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna shield. I'm gonna start shielding. Snorlax is tanky enough to handle the charge move of Hitno. I'm assuming he's running a Shadow Ball. Okay, that's Ice Beam. I, uh, so I would just use double shields on my Swampert. I may want to burn a shield first. Let's see if I should do that. No, I will pull a switch into my Snorlax. Okay. So. Hypno would run Shadow Ball, which obviously he wouldn't use on my Snorlax. The other move that he would probably have is something punch. It could be Fire Punch, it could be Thunder Punch, it could be Ice Punch, and that would do not a lot of damage to Snorlax. Although, to be honest, I would prefer use, to use uh, Munchlax because Munchlax, you know, is a more tanky um, version of Snorlax, despite it being a baby of Mun Snorlax. Munchlax, Snorlax, Snorlax, Munchlax. Both legs, okay? Relax. There's another fat Lex here that you guys are looking at also. Hi, this is Brandon Lex. Okay, so uh, hoo, 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 hoo. he has a shoe left though. He has a shoe left. All right, Thunder Punch comes in. All right, the only good thing about Snorlax, I would presume, okay, he's gonna farm me down, man. One bubble should take me out, I think. Oh my god, yeah, it does. Okay, let me see now. Let me see now. So I'm gonna bait his shoe. Let's see if he takes the bait or not. I hope he does. I hope he does. And then after that, I fire off an Earthquake. I don't think I have enough at... Oh my god. Okay, now I'll just fire off another Hydro Cannon. Alright, so another Hydro Cannon is enough to take him out. So... If he does not shoot this, he will faint. Otherwise, I can just fire off another Hydro Cannon before he fire off another Charge Move. Hopefully... Oh my god. My heart is pounding really hard now. And because it's Hydro Pump. And I'm dead. It was so close. It was so close, guys. Look at that. It was really close. I was just one fast move much short away from getting it. So anyway, we're going to go into Ultra League now. Same team again. I'm going to skip this part so that you guys don't have to watch it. Now I have to make sure that I'm choosing my Ultra League Pokemon and not accidentally choosing my Great League. <laughs> Either one of those Pokemon. But yes, same team. Snorlax, Lugia, and also Swampert. Here we go. I think that went pretty all right i mean it went better than i expected i mean considering the fact that i was faced up against you know azumarion and also meganium and also hit you no know, the top one of the top three uh, meta pokemon especially azumarion so okay we're starting off with someone using gyarados i assume he has dragon breath ouch it is dragon breath 
And uh, whoo -hoo, Dragon Breath is a very deadly move. And right now you guys can see that my Snorlax is handling the damage way better than being in the Great League because Snorlax, being in the Ultra League and also the Master League, he becomes more tanky, more beefy, in my opinion. And uh, that's why I prefer using him in the Ultra League and not in the Great League at all. You guys definitely have not seen me use Snorlax in the Great League at all. And uh, yeah, I mean, the reason is because it's not as tanky as Munchlax, that's, that's what I just said. So anyway, we're going to just body spam the Gyarados down. Uh, obviously, we're not going to use Super Power because uh, Gyarados is a flying type Pokemon also, and it's going to resist the fighting move. Oh my god, I thought I could have gotten to my body slam before that Crunch comes in, and Crunch would kill my Snorlax, so I have the shield right now since he has already utilized a shield of his own and come to think of it right now in this situation if i was him i wouldn't use the shield at all because uh, i think he could have survived that body slam to um oh my god now he's using double shields okay that's cool i guess can i actually get it oh my god you must be kidding me i'm thinking guys all right let's just do it for the sake of you okay snorlax for the sake of you for the sake of you, oh my god, I'm holding my Snorlax while I'm doing this, alright? I'm holding my, yeah, but for the sake of you. Okay, let's see now. Now, at least we know what's he gonna bring out. He's bringing in Swampert. That means that if I were to bring in my own Mirror Swampert, it wouldn't be a good thing because he has already done one mud shot. So let's see if this is gonna work out. You guys can see that despite him going to use Hydro Cannon, Lugia is gonna be able to tank this way better than being in the Great League. Yep, um, around 20% uh, health went down And uh, my shot is not going to do a lot of damage to me Come to think of it, maybe I should have gone with Future Sight uh, It's fine Okay, here we go Got the Sky Attack in uh, We could actually get to another Sky Attack uh, Almost already I think He cannot fire off another Hydro Cannon after this I, do, I doubt so, I highly doubt so but uh, we will see. Yep, we got it. Okay, cool. So extra sensory actually um, is a pretty okay fast move to charge up your energy. I wouldn't say that it is as good as Mud Shot. Obviously, Mud Shot is the second best. Okay, he has Registeel, which is a good thing for my Swampert. Hello, it's time to come out and play. All right, he's gonna focus blast me. It's totally fine. I can survive. I can take that. All right, I didn't want him to charge up energy for my against my um. Swampert when he's fighting my Lugia, so Bro, at least just let me do an earthquake lah But he know it's already GG lah <laughs> So, yep, that was uh, pretty fun, that was pretty interesting We're gonna go into Master League now So give me a sec, I have to change my team again Choose my team again, I mean Alright, so right now, it's gonna be quite interesting I've already chosen Master League Snorlax, Lugia and also Swampert <sighs> I don't normally run Swampert here in the Master League because there are a lot of things that can easily take on Swampert despite them not resisting the moves of Swampert also. Um, we'll see how. Hopefully I can catch someone who's using Mel Metal with my Swampert. Uh, or maybe someone who's using Heatran. Example, if I were to encounter someone who's using Giratina, I'm basically GG. Or I mean Giratina against my Swampert. But if it's Giratina against my Snorlax, sure, that's a good thing I guess. Metal Gross, okay. Oh, excuse me! Okay, Swampert will come in now. Because Swampert will not stand a chance against the Giratina. Okay, that could either be Earthquake or Meteor Mesh. I am going to take it as if it's going to be Meteor Mesh, okay, which will be resisted. Awesome, but it still does a crazy amount of damage. I'm going to pull a Bluff, alright, and then bait his shield out hopefully he takes the bait otherwise i'll just fire off another hydro cannon after that yep another hydro cannon will just come out it's easy okay so it's technically the same um but if he decides to shoot this then also good i burn a shield with hydro cannon right okay he decides not to shoot it and then his uh, giratina will be coming out right about now okay it's quite obvious and then uh can i actually get to earthquake no i can't should I shoot this to get Earthquake out and then burn a shield? <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna do that. Ominous Wind. <sighs> wow. Stop lagging! Okay, thank you very much. 
Maybe I should have just... Stop lagging! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Hello! Excuse me! Thank you, my god. Still weak connection. I do not know how many times I've seen the weak connection already. <sighs> what the? Already excellent! How many excellent you mean to do? What? Double excellent? Triple excellent? This is stupid. Anyway, I think I should not have shoot that. I should have, um... I should have... I'm sorry, guys. I was talking. I should have just uh, brought in my Snorlax. Yeah, I should have just brought in my Snorlax. Okay. Whew. I, I... After I tap the switch, I'm like... Uh, Rhyperia. I'm like, uh-oh. Crap. Did I just screw it up? Because I thought his Rhyperia had, um... I thought his Rhyperia had a Smackdown, but looks like not. Rock Wrecker. Okay. Snorlax does not need shield actually. Snorlax does not need shield. Okay, I will burn the shield first. Um, he may think that it's gonna be Hydro Pump. Um, oh, oh, I think I missed the bubble. Did I just, yeah, I missed the bubble. Oh my god. Okay, it's cool. We got that. Um, can we actually get the future side? No! I, I'm not sure if this would kill. I'm really not sure. I'm assuming Lugia is tanky enough to handle one rock wrecker. Wow, seriously, it is really tanky enough to handle one rock record. That's pretty insane if you ask me. Rock record is a very insane move, and to see that amount of damage being dealt to Lugia just like that only, I'm actually very, very impressed. <sighs> but uh yeah, um let's see now. Cool, we got that. We're gonna sky I was gonna say we're gonna sky attack the Giratina. I already saw him switch. Yep. It's okay, Ominous Wind coming in, that will take me out, it's totally fine. Snorlax will just lick, 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 the Giratina down. Lick, 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 the Giratina down. I just hope he doesn't have Dragon Pulse. I mean, there are people who run Ominous Wind and Dragon Pulse together, though it's a very rare combination. Uh, most people will run Shadow Ball and Dragon Pulse, that is a more likely combination. So we're just gonna spam Body Slams down because uh, his health is not gonna be enough for him to survive. A body slam and maybe a couple of licks. I don't think one body slam will take him out. He has a shield left though. Oh, actually, yeah, the body slam will take him out easily. Okay, GG. So I didn't, I didn't remember how much health he was left with, but it worked out well. We got that W. Awesome with this team. We're in the Master League. <laughs> That's why I like Master League. That's why I like a uh, Great League. Also, wait, did I win in Great League or Ultra League? Um, I forgot. It's fine. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Great League again. Okay, we're gonna go, go go back to Great League again. Same team again. Here we go. Actually, this team is pretty fun to use, man. Oh! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm supposed to change to the other team now. I was supposed to change to the other team. Yeah, I was supposed to change to another set of team for this time round. So, this time round, I'm gonna run with a different uh, set of Pokemon. Um, Caesar, Tyranita, and Togekiss. Alright, Caesar, Tyranita, and Togekiss. This time, it's gonna be this. Uh, it's gonna be um, very interesting because my Caesar is actually running Bullet Punch in all three leagues if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I'm running Fury Cutter for any. Yeah, I can't remember. There's so many Pokemon <laughs> in my collection that I <laughs> can't even remember all of them. I imagine having like 500 Pokemon for PvP. Oh my god. Oh my! Okay, it's, it's a good start for me I guess. I mean, I'm doing neutral damage to him. Um, let's see now. Should I just fire off the Iron Head or Night Slash Bait? Uh, I will do the Night Slash bit. 30% chance for me to increase my attack by 50%. Alright. So, uh, let's hope it happens. Ah! He didn't take the bait. Uh, Hydro Pump would kill. I think he has enough energy for Hydro. Now, I'm the one who got baited instead. Okay, never mind. We throw an Iron Head now. This would kill if he does not shield. Oh, no, actually, it wouldn't kill. I forgot it's Azumari. I forgot how tanky Azumario is. <laughs> yeah, for fun fact for you guys, Azumari 100% maxes out at 1588. That gives you an idea. Ooh, that gives you an idea on how, you know, tanky Azumari can be, especially with the kind of stats that it have, stats distribution it have, um, to actually survive very, very well here in the Great League. Uh, whoa, my God! Just one more turn and the damage would come through already. One more turn meaning 0.5 seconds and the damage will have come through for the confusion and I'm dead already, see? What? I got the buff.
You know what? My um, Tyrinta has Smackdown, not Bite. If it's running Bite, I'll be really, really happy, but unfortunately not. So, I'm not going to shoot this. Whatever move that Hypno throws at um, Tyranita wouldn't be super effective. Yep, it's totally fine. Shadow Ball, even better. You wasted all your energy. You're going to use your other whatever punch that you have. Um, I'm assuming he's running Ice Punch. Okay, Fire Punch, even better. Resisted, thanks to the Rock Typing of Tyranita. Got it down, we got it down. Let's see what's he going to bring out. I assume he's going to bring out his last Pokemon now. His Azumaru, I don't think has enough health to survive two Smackdowns. Okay, he's bringing in a Grass-type Pokemon now. Okay, it's... Eh! I was trying to get the Crunch. I was trying to get the Crunch, guys. Well, Togekiss is up to you now. Togekiss is up to you now. Togekiss is really up to you now. So this would be Leaf Blade or Aerial Ace. I am not going to shoot that just to save my shield for the Azumarill. Yeah, because the Azumaru could fire off an Ice Beam. I uh, uh, It's going to be really close, guys. I do not know if I have enough health. Oh my god. Togekiss is not that tanky in the Great League, by the way, guys. Uh, oh my god, I have to use the shield now. Oh, can, I, can I actually fire off two charms on the Azumaru? I'm not sure if I need one or two charms, man, on the Azu. Actually, you know what? It, it died already. It's just one charm. And one more charm on the Tropius. We won this! Yes! Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Oh my god, this team actually works. Tyranita. I shouldn't have given you a bite. Although I was hoping to get the Fire Blast out on the Tropius, though it has a shield, but it wasn't going to work out. So anyway, same team again. I'm going to choose that again. So give me a sec. All right, choosing the same team. Caesar, Tyranita, and also... Togekiss, here we go in the Ultra League right now. In this Ultra League, right? This Ultra League. Don't tell me I chose Master League. If I chose Master League and used Ultra League Mon, that would be really stupid. Uh, I think it's Ultra League. I hope it's Ultra League. It would really be dumb if I would <laughs> do what I just said. Okay, it's definitely Ultra League. I, I mean, I don't think there's anybody who uses uh, Armored Mewtwo in a. Uh, yep, it is Ultra League. I was going to say, I don't think there's anybody who uses uh, Armored Mewtwo in a uh, Master League at all. So anyway, uh, Night Slash will do super effective to the Mewtwo, alright, since it's a Psychic type Pokemon and Night Slash is a Dark type move, alright, didn't get the buff, it's totally fine. Um, right now he's going to use Dynamic Punch, I'm going to shoot that, okay, cool, we got that, and then we're going to use another, we're going to bait him, alright. Um, what's my other two Pokemon? I'm trying to recall. <gasps> oh my god, if you actually forget what Pokemon you're using, you can actually tap the bottom right now, see what you have. If you do not know, you can just actually just do this. So since that he is using Lapras with Eye Shut, alright, I've decided that I'm going to use my Tyranita. Despite me suffering super effective from this serve right now, I think I could still survive pretty okay. I'm just going to smack down all the way and then crunch the Lapras once. Hopefully I can get the crunch. Yes, I do. Oh, I think his uh, serve was ready already. That's why I immediately pulled a switch into Tyranita. If I were to switch just one second later, the serve will come in again, which is cool. Right now, we are in a good, okay position. I wouldn't say like good position. So bring in uh, Mewtwo again. Okay, bring in Mewtwo again. Okay, bring in Mewtwo again. Okay, bring in Mewtwo again. Mm. I was actually thinking if I should shoot that though. Side strike. Okay, cool. I might want to just farm him down. Registeel. Oh, I'm dead, guys. I'm totally dead. Registeel will annihilate my Toga case very easily. Whew, but I did my best, guys. Let's see what I can do, okay? Let's see what I can do. He might focus blast me, but he could actually uh, flash cannon me to bait me. If I don't have a shield right now, he would he would actually uh, focus blast me. Then I can pull us switch into Togekiss to soak up that damage but let's uh, take the risk I'm running under the sub oh, he, he, he focused I mean it doesn't matter so it's better so he's wasted all his energy uh, okay so let me see now uh, his Mewtwo will run uh, rocks no 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 rocks like dynamic punch and uh, side strike already okay we got that in Ah, it's too late. I'm so sorry, guys. 
I was thinking of other things that I pff, didn't pull a switch quick enough to dog a kiss. <sighs> okay, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Yeah. Um, flash cannon. It's GG, guys. It's GG. It's not because I lose in the Ultra League, that's why I do not like Ultra League as compared to the other two leagues. It's just that, um, well, if he has a shoe left, if he does not have a shoe, I could still flamethrower him. Maybe if, maybe if I were to do a initial power and then get a triple buff right now and get my defense and, and uh, attack up to 150%, I could still win. Brandon, obviously, that's not going to happen. Even if that is that, if that's going to happen, even if your attack and defense is going to get boosted by five times, you're still going to lose. Because Flash Cannon is so strong. So anyway, yeah, as I was saying, uh, Ultra League is a league that a lot of people do not play because it requires a lot of investment in terms of resources, stardust, candies, and whatnot, which a lot of people wouldn't have the Pokemon to use. So yeah, we are done with this set. We're going to collect the rewards. We're going to skip to the part that I'm going to go into the Master League also. All right, Master League. I'm reading Master League there, right behind my, right in front of my Avatar's face and my team is set over there. Shizor, Tyranita and also Togekiss. Here we go. See, much quicker to search for a battle here in the Master League. I was actually playing the Go Battle last night and I was searching for a battle in the Ultra League. It took like 20 to 25 seconds to search for a battle in the Ultra League here in this rating that I'm at. But the other two leagues is like almost immediate. So anyway, he's going to use Giratina. He's going to switch into Mel Metal. Now we have a problem, guys. Now we really have a problem. How am I supposed to handle Mel Metal? I have nothing that would do well against Mel Metal, man. I guess that's the only thing I can do, right? I mean, my gear, the Giratina is, the Giratina can be handled by either either one of my uh, Pokemon, man. It doesn't really. Oh, it's good, good, good that you use Super Power, man. Yeah, now that you're different. YOLO guys I'm gonna do that yeah like I said you know my other two Pokemon can take on Giratina especially my Tyranita since actually no it's not running by since you know it resists the moves of um, the Giratina so that's why I decided to double shoot a Caesar to get rid of the Melmetal I really really need to get rid of the Melmetal with just my Caesar alone I have no other choice I'm assuming he has Dialgia at the back, which Dialgia, I guess, whew, will be quite hard to handle now that I look at it. Oh, he's bringing out his Giratina again. Okay, I'll do a, I'll do a Night Slash, and then I'll pull a switch into Tyra. Yeah, I wouldn't want to switch into Togekiss because right now I do not have any shields left, and he could just Shadow Ball, which would take out almost 50% health of my Togekiss. So we're going to smack down the Giratina all the way and then uh, do a crunch. That should almost take it out already. Maybe another two more smackdowns after the crunch should take it out. Maybe even three. Yeah, okay. We Wow. This is tense, man. I'm actually uh, thinking really, really hard. I mean, think about this. These are Pokemon that I never ever use in the Master League and whatever league. So. This team also, I've never used it before. So, everything that you see right now is just uh, impromptu, um, you know, thinking and whatever that I just come up with. I just try my very best to uh, overcome the problem that I'm facing right now. Oh my god, this Metagross is even worse. There's no choice. I, I'm, I'm, I'm dead, guys. Yeah, I'm dead. Yep, I'm 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 really dead. The meteor mesh is coming in. Meteor mesh is coming in. Wait, let me think now. What if did the Mel Metal die? Okay. No. <laughs> the Mel Metal has too much health left. And also his Meteor Mesh should be ready already. His Meteor Mesh should be ready already. I cannot farm him down. I was thinking to farm him down. But I cannot already. His Meteor Mesh is coming in. That will take out around 80% health of Togekiss. This will almost kill Togekiss and then uh, just one more bullet punch. We should... Oh uh, no, it's dead. 85%. Uh, 
But I did my best. I think that was pretty alright um, from what I've um, done so far. Yep. So um, yeah, that's a, a pretty interesting theme to experiment here in all three leagues. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me battle in all three, the Great League, Ultra League and also the Must League. As said, I'd like to know from you guys which is your favourite league to play in and do let me know in the comment section down below. So Snorlax, thank you very much for being part of the action today. It's time to say goodbye, okay? So, yep, if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like for Snorlax. Like. Useless. Alright, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next battle in the next video. Alright, goodbye. Snorlax, say goodbye. Rubber.